What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the NIU Dynasty. We're in episode four, technically sort of two, depending on how you see the last episodes, I guess. So we sort of did a reboot, right? We did a refresh due to the issues with the game I had. So now we are in episode two slash four. We'll just call it four to make it simple. And this week we are heading to NC State to take on the Wolfpack. It is a Saturday game, 12 o'clock noon. And I'm really excited to get through this week because I want to see what some of our recruits are going to be doing at the end of this week. We're getting really close with a few of them. Uh, one thing that I did offline because I was just thinking about it a little bit and I decided this is what I wanted to do is I removed 10 points. I removed 10 points from Napolitano. Napolitano, I, I don't know how to say his name. We are so far ahead. We have Tony that I'm also looking to get to commit. So I didn't want to mess with his points, but I wanted to adjust because I wanted to um, offer up. Oh, who else? I also did it to Obi because we are all once again, so far ahead. So I took both 10 points away from both of them. And then what I did was I'm making one last run at Siegler here. Uh, one last run. So I went full house on him and we're just going to see what happens. Okay. I don't know if it's going to work or not but we have to try something because I just feel like it would be stupid of us not to. So we're going to see if that puts us anywhere closer to Illinois or not. And then if not, we'll just, you know, I'll brief on the points and we'll take them somewhere else. And then we'll have some extra scouting points next week. And I have decided that I am going to start Jalen Macon this week. I have seen enough of him in spurts that I want to see him run a full game and see how he does in that scenario. Um, Ethan Hampton is just, you know, we had the one game right now, and that seems like an anomaly, right? That one game against FCS Midwest, a very bad team. But Macon since then has looked like the better quarterback against Notre Dame and, of course, Buffalo. So I want to see what he can do against NC State, give him a chance to start, and we'll see how where it goes from there because we need to do something because our team right now is fluttering. We're one and two, and we need to, we need to get back on the right track. So that's what's going to happen today. And we really don't have a lot to talk about until after the game when we do the recruiting stuff. So let's just get right into the game. I forgot that I haven't shown you guys exactly what the uniforms look like now that I made the adjustments. So here is what they all look like. So we do still have the same sort of look for our plain home jersey. We have sort of the same look for the away, the alternate home with the Husky logo on the helmet instead. One of my personal favorites is this all white build and this helmet is beautiful and then the all red so they're not necessarily intended to be used together but they can be you saw last game we had this red jersey on with our normal home stuff so i love to mix and match all of these things which is why i had such a hard time sort of deciding what to do because i wanted to make sure that i could pick really any pair of pants jersey and helmet combo and make it work this week i think we're going to run the all white with the white helmet because it looks so clean. All right, we are ready to go. The stadium is already going crazy. Let me turn this down a little bit. Hand off to Brown and he gets wrapped up behind the line for a loss of one. And let's see what Macon can do on his opening drive. Quick pass over the middle, he finds Lewis. And Lewis will get himself a first down out to the 28. Play action, making looking deep, right, left side, and it's tipped in the air and income. Holy crap, it was caught. Kenji Lewis comes out of nowhere and makes the catch. I, I'm such, I'm at, I'm in an awe right now. I'm in awe right now. Holy crap. I can't believe that worked. I mean, it, it didn't really work. It just so happened to work after like the third or fourth bounce, but what a play by Kenji Lewis. Here we go, down three seconds, two. We gotta snap it, there we go. Play action, make it again, right up the middle of the seam. What a dot. And he finds Kyle Thomas. Look at that helmet, man. Oh man, do I love this uniform. Oh, we got a direct snap here. Brown takes a snap, fakes the handoff, and he gets demolished. 
he got demolished in the backfield that was tough all right so that one did not work second and goal gotta got something different here come on guys Lewis in motion he'll take the handoff cuts it up in the middle but just not a lot of room there they saw it coming they had a corner on the outside ready for it and now we're sitting at third and goal come on Macon Macon rolling fires no and throws an interception guys we're supposed to be better than this oh man well now we're now we're on defense don't tell me that it's going to be a repeat of last week there's no way that we suck this bad holy crap We might need to switch up our our whole plan here. There we go. We get a stop. Third and six. I just I don't know what's going on with this defense, man. We just get carved up week to week. Oh, and we can't catch an interception. That's like the thirty seventh interception we've dropped. Oh man. Well, at least we get the stop. We'll get the punt back, and we can at least restart where we left off and hopefully Jalen Macon can sort of shrug off what happened and we can get back to business here as this stadium starts to ramp up once again Brown in motion fake it to him lets it go short to McElroy and he got him for the first the quick little throw to the hitch there get some positive momentum going here folks Macon again Throwing it short underneath. And Barnes, unable to keep his feet in bounds, steps out after a few. Second and three. Or second and seven. Five to go in the first. Hand off to Brown. Trying to get outside. And the Wolf Pack just all over the place. We could not get the ball. Like we could not get a block there to save our life. And Macon hit as he throws, but still delivers to Kenji Lewis. And Lewis out to midfield. That was an incredible play by Macon to, to keep his composure in the face of that pressure. The handoff to Brown up the middle. And Brown has himself a six yard gain. I want to get him involved today, though. We definitely have to get him involved. There it is. Hand it off to him. And he's loose. 30, 20, down to this 15. The mark about the 16. That's what we need to see is Ontario Brown getting comfortable and getting the ball because we know that's when this offense is at its best. First and 10, we're doing the hurry up here. Making calling audibles, setting these guys up. Let's see what we got. Takes the snap. Looks inside to Barnes. He's got him for a short gain of four. The short passing game has been setting us up. We have to keep that momentum going. Stop trying to be fancy with it. Just run run the plays. Hand off. And it's Williams. And he will get himself a nice little gain of two. Setting it up for third and two. Third down here. Let's go. Brown in motion. Throwing it outside, complete, Kyle Thomas in for the touchdown, and we will go on the board first here in North Carolina State. Kyle Thomas, just sort of on a little out route there, Macon puts it on a line to him, right on the outside shoulder of that corner, earns it upfield for a beautiful score. Defense comes back out, their second go, first and ten. Oh, number seven here in the handoff he's working his way through the traffic finds his way for eight yards very nice run oh they just get that handoff to the running back and he takes it all the way to the 40 nice run nice blocking up front quick outside screen and it goes nowhere Second and 10. 
And it's a handoff to Waters. He gets out to the left side. Plenty of blocks. Tries to spin past the defender, but he can't do it. And he'll get a big chunk, though. Third and one. Oh, going for the option. They get it outside, and they will get the first down. Nice decision from the quarterback to get it out to Waters and let him do the rest. They'll move the chains. Now inside of our territory here. Play action. Rolling out to the left. Hit as he throws and finds his man. Number 10 down to the 30. Another beautiful throw. Hand off Waters again. And he put, puts it on the turf. And we got it. The question is, was he down? We recover it. Deshaun Prophet, the corner. Is a one who puts the hit on him that causes the fumble. There we go, first and ten. And off to Brown, who's running backwards. I, I'm about to lose my mind. I don't even know what that, what just happened. And off to Brown, wide open lane up the middle. Thank God we needed to get those yards back. NC State. Oh, that's two minute warning already. My gosh. All right. Third and four. Another handoff to Brown. Wide open up the middle. And he is out across the 35 to the 37. Big first down. What do we got here? Another handoff. And once again, a wide open lane up the middle. Ontario Brown getting all the blocking he needs today. He's tired. Going outside, fake it to him. Making underneath, finds Barnes once again. Oh no, that was actually Johnson. That was Johnson, our sophomore receiver, getting involved. And Macon trying to force it into McElroy. Almost threw an interception. Got to calm down here, dude. Calm down. Making under pressure. He gets rid of it just in time, but Williams is hit from behind. And that's going to force us to punt it away again. Too many times we're missing opportunities here to put points on the board. Why is our punter punting like an idiot? The last two punts, this guy has put it, like, high in the air. And then they barely even, like... They, it's like they have to run forward for it. It's really weird. NC State gets a quick completion. 33 seconds left. They have two timeouts. We have all three. For the middle again, another quick completion. That one goes for a first. They're going to burn their second timeout. And... Wow, they use all three timeouts right away. That sort of surprises me. 26 seconds to go. They have no more timeouts. Over the middle, batted down. Excellent job. Third and two. Um, I don't know what that was. Well, looking at the break here, 133 passing yards, 92 rushing yards. We're averaging 7.5 yards of play. So we are sort of dominating in that aspect right now. But NC State has been doing their thing on the ground, just like we have. Ontario Brown has come alive here late in the second quarter, getting a couple of big runs, but it has not amounted to anything for us. Since that field goal by NC State, it's been back and forth, punts, punts, punts. That's, that's really about it. And then, of course, we got to the break, so we are picking things up here at the beginning of the third quarter, where we still lead 7-3. to three. Not a very high-scoring game so far. NC State's going to take a knee in the end zone. And they'll start off at the 25. And off. Waters outside. Plenty of space. And we're going to get him stopped just short of the first. Second and inches. Oh, it's play action. Looking short, and it's completed. A very short pass. 
But it gets just enough for the first down. Another. F oh, my. Why can't our players catch the ball? Honest to God. Why can't they catch the ball? That should have been a pick six. Like, that was a free pick. Oh, my gosh. And then, yep, and we give up a huge play over the middle. Drop a pick, give up six. That's the saying. I hope it's not true this time, but it's just time after time we are failing to capitalize. It's been the story of this season so far. In whichever dynasty file you want to talk about. First one, second one, third one, this one, whatever. It's always been the same story. We can't capitalize and we give up big plays afterwards like that. Touchdown, NC State. We have officially lost the lead. All right, facing our first deficit of the day. Back at our own 18. Macon, play action rollout. Got to get rid of it. And chucks it into the dirt just in time before taking the sack. Not able to get anybody open. There's a handoff to Brown. Nice lane opens up for him, and we will get the first down. Making over the middle, completed to Thomas. Nice job there. Thomas hauling it in in the middle of pressure. First down, Macon, blitz coming. Fires it left side, right side, and it is incomplete. No, it's caught. McElroy makes the catch on the sideline. Now get us across midfield, down to the 47. McElroy in motion, takes it, gets outside. He's got some space. 30 and dragged down at the 25. Another big run. McElroy and Thomas both are doing very well throughout this season when it comes to that little pitch forward there or like a little half end around half pitch play. We need a touchdown on this drive. Come on, Macon. Make it happen. And off Brown. Oh my God. He put three on the turf. I almost feel bad for dude. I love Ontario Brown. Another handoff to him. There was two of you guys over there. Get your blocks. Holy crap, guys. They both turned around and watched Ontario Brown try to, to break his tackle. All right, there we go. First down. I think that was Applegate or was that Barnes? I can't tell them apart half the time. I think it was Barnes. First and ten. Handoff. Brown. And there's just nobody on that outside to help protect. There's nothing. He's put us in bad situations inside the red zone here. Here comes McElroy again. He's going to get the catch again. But uh, they keep somebody home this time. Not going to fall for it twice. And now we're at a third and eight. Come on, guys. Got to make something happen here. Oh, great. Dude, he's got a question mark. He doesn't know what he's doing. And he drops it. Golly. And we're settling for three. It's up. And it's good. And we'll tie things up here in the third. All right. So we got a, a stop on the drive after getting the field goal. And now we have the ball back. Out near the 40. Hand off to Brown. Breaks it off left side. Gets the first down and more. Pushed out of bounds at the 46. 2.14 and ticking left in this third quarter. Macon once again hands it off, and Brown has another lane. Nine more added to the total. We could hand it off left side here. Oh, never mind, it's pass. Oh, that was a bad play. He wanted to get to McElroy, but there was just too tight a coverage. Ends up going for no gain. Third and one. And a quick one to McElroy, and he holds on for the first. Of 
First and ten. Come on, Macon. Oh, it's Brown. Right up the gut. And that's a first down falling forward to the 20. And that is going to bring us to the end of the third. And now we are in the final quarter of this game. And there you see Kevin Conception. His name is Conception? Wow, that's an awesome name, actually. That's pretty badass. All right. Wow. I didn't even see the stats because I was so caught off guard by his name. Is that how you say that? Did you guys know? Conception? I mean, it sounds like it. All right, handoff. There goes Brown again. Down inside the 10 to the 7. We need a touchdown here. Come on, guys. Let's make it happen. Making it happen. See what I did there, guys? And he does just that, finding McElroy in the end zone. And McElroy, easy little hitch out there, stops on a dime right in the soft spot of the zone. And we take a seven point lead again. All right, we have a lead. We have some momentum on our side here. Oh, he's gonna run with it. Oh, he just made us miss. What in the world? Did you guys see him like sort of just slide there in the backfield? He sort of like just glided through the, the lane. That was really weird. Play action. Throwing into the flats to a wide open player. Number 40, is that a fullback? Wow. First and 10. And there's Waters. Oh my God, he destroyed our player. Who was that? Who just got destroyed like that? Number nine. I don't know who you are, number nine, because I'm not good at remembering names quite yet, but I'm going to check after this game. You got molly -whopped. First and 10. They're moving fast. There goes Waters again. And just like that, they go from their own, like their own little green zone, red zone area to pretty much inside of ours. And that's sort of how this game has gone. When the drives are going, they're going. A nice stop in the backfield there. Not allowing the first. Third and one. You know they're going to go to Waters here, right? Exactly, yep. I, at least I knew that. Defense didn't, but I did. Oh, another little screen. We missed the tackle. That's great. Okay. That's good. And he's going for it all. What a play. Who is number three? That was a beautiful play. I think... I think that's dude. Jacob something. The uh, sophomore corner. Oh, it's a keeper. And he goes down. Nice job getting the stop there. Third and 13. We need a stop here, guys. Come on, defense. Hand off to Waters. Come on. Yes. There we go. Well, we didn't get anything done on the drive. Oh, nice play there. That was profit. It was a th very quick three and out. Two boneheaded plays cost us the drive. So now NC State has the ball back and they're gonna try and, uh, they're not gonna try, they're just gonna do because apparently we all just fell down and let Waters take off for another 30 or 40 yards. This is excellent. I was watching this lead drip away. Oh, 52. Dude, you got played so bad by the quarterback there. Oh, man, that's not good. There we go. Hit him right away. Force a short completion. We got three receivers all split to the left. And they're going to hand it off again. And we don't get it. Mm. Guys. <laughs> Can we have some discipline here? I understand this is college, but Jesus Christ, give us some defense here, please. Anybody make a tackle? Finally. Holy cow. Guys, I'm loving this CFB game, but I'm a defensive guy. I don't know if I can, I don't know if I can handle this, man. This is crazy. That's what we need. Big plays. Third and 14. 
Play action, end zone, it's picked off! Finally, we get an interception, and it's Bird with the pick. Finally, we get the turnover. We've dropped every single interception imaginable all season, and we finally get one. Okay, now let's put a drive together here, guys. Let's close this game out. Come on, Macon. Come on, Macon. No, don't take it. I'm going to lose my mind here, guys. Why are we dropping 30 yards back? What did it, what just happened? Who tackled him? Is this Are we getting set up right now? We're getting Oh my god. Jalen Macon decided to run backwards straight. Ontario Brown got tackled by air. Thank God. Thank God we got that stop. I mean, we're just giving NC State literally every opportunity in the world to, to take the lead. And there it is. Touchdown, NC State. We are a minute and a half away from going one and three. This is insane. Jalen Macon takes the snap. Up underneath the barns. Now we need a touchdown. Now we, we can't just run the clock out. Minute and a half. We're going to play hurry up here. We still have all three timeouts. Bacon back. He looks right side completed. And Brown gets out of bounds. Excellent. 117 to go. Brown in motion. Come on, Macon. Do something. That was a stupid decision. That was the something you did? Oh, my God. Come on, guys. Call a play, dude. I don't, I don't have to say anything. No words could have better expressed how I'm feeling than just the, uh, the silence as he runs it in for a touchdown. Let me guess, we're, be able, we're gonna be able to move the ball now that we have, uh, that we actually can't have a chance to, to win, right? Now all of a sudden, plays are gonna open up, I bet, right? Let's see. Yep, look at that. All of a sudden, things are all A-OK -okay with the world. Macon isn't stupid. He doesn't run backwards. He finds open receivers. That's great. And there it is again. The last couple of drives before we lost the lead officially was some of the weirdest, glitchiest stuff I've seen out of this game yet. Oh, yeah, of course now we're going to score. Yeah, of course now we're going to score. Touchdown, Andrew McElroy. Yeah, that was a very tough outing. I really thought we were going to take that one home. I just don't know if, if, if things are going to go okay if we just keep losing these games that we should be winning. I don't know if it's a playbook thing. I don't know if it's a quarterback thing. I thought Macon played pretty good throughout most of the game. There was a very, very few big boneheaded mistakes, right? Um, yeah, I, I just, I don't know. Let's, uh, go into our coaching abilities here and let's see if we can get some more help in our recruiting efforts. Um, we could go for a third here on either D linemen or linebackers, or we could go to the most influential for wide receivers, or we could open up another one here. Like maybe we could for a uh, running back or secondary, um, Right now, I think the biggest area of need. Oh man, this is tough. I mean, I don't really need to scout anybody, but I want to have the more influential on everybody. So if we do, we could do another team get the influential, right? 
Or we could do the wide receiver get influential. Let's let's do. We have two tokens, so let's do this. We'll do five here, and then let's start on. Start on halfbacks. There. There we go. We'll start there. See how that goes. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna we are going to sim to next week. Well, our playing style didn't get worse for guys, which is good. Playing time didn't get worse. Championship contender just keeps going down because we keep losing. That makes sense. Uh, recruiting wise, we have a lot of people hitting top threes and top fives. We are still in the running for all of these guys. Except for Marshall Crook, we just fell all the way down the board. Whoa, I gotta take a look at that. Okay, um, wow. Let's let's see where we're at with these guys. So we're still there for Callaway. Um, Garfield, I think, is... We actually made up some ground. But I still think that I want to go with Callaway here. So good there. We're really good there. We are so close to a commit here with Hurt. I say we just leave this as is. I mean, Marshall is trying to make a play right here, but we are so close to getting a commit. Um, we're still in on Mike Hull. So good there. We're really good here. We're going to have... We're close to getting a commit from Willie Strange. Stalter is closing in on his top three. Um, we are still in the running for both of the tight ends. He has blocked us still. I'm just going to leave him on the list for now because he's not taking anything really away from us. And Truman, we're still good on. But now Central Michigan is starting to creep in. We are. We just lost. I don't, I don't even have hours for a visit. This is the hard part about being a small school is like, I don't have like any hours to just schedule visits with these guys. Um, what in the world happened? What, what is Ball State doing? Oh my God. We're about to lose out on Marshall Crook. Holy cow. Okay. Let's see where we're at with everybody else. We just lost out now to with Derelict. Why is everybody all of a sudden coming out of the woodwork now? We're still good on Rawls. I'd say we just cut our ties with this dude. We are gaining on Illinois. I don't know if you guys see that. We are gaining on them. They have a visit scheduled though. I feel like we should try to swoop in and do a visit as well. Do we have... He does not care about playing time. Okay, let's see. If we do this and do a hard sell, we know it's not that. We know that can't be it. That can't be. That can't be. No. I have a feeling it's got to be this one. Okay, it, this is the only one that it could be. Where is it? Right here. This is the only one it could be. I say we try to hard sell him on this. We have two A's there. Okay. Yeah, pro potential is not very high. But his deal breaker is proximity to home, which is what we have an A in. So let's do that. We're going to do that. That gives us 10 points. We are up ahead with Singleton. So that is good. Nobody. This guy just doesn't care about anybody, apparently. So good there. We're still good there. We're very close to Tony committing. If we can get him to commit, I mean, that's that's going to be huge for us. Um, Asher, we're good on. We're still good on Obi. We're still good there. I need to get some of these guys to commit here so I can, like, move on. You know what I mean? Um, let's see. Do we have enough for a good hard sell on him? Not really. Shoot. What's his deal breaker? Proximity to home. I could try that. I feel like send the house is better to just keep in place, but I could try a hard sell because if, if his is about proximity to home, that is an A for us. We have a C plus in another one. Yeah, I think this makes sense to try to go for this to get the commit. We're going to do that. Time to get to work. Yeah, let's put let's put that in there. See if that works for us. We're so close to him committing. And that also gets us 20 hour or 10 hours back. See if there's anybody else that I did that for. Let's try it on Strange as well. Um, we know that proximity to home. Yeah, 
Let's try that on him. Let's remove send the house. Add action. Hard sell. That right there. Hometown hero. That gets us to 30 hours, which is good because we need to go all in on somebody here. We're about to lose out on both DNs. I have to decide on somebody to try and flip. Like, do I want to flip Crook? You know? Or do I want to just focus on on Dobbs here for a top three? Okay, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to do... I'm going to take this back. And I'm going to go in for a hard sell again. I know we can, we have a decent lineup for this. We have an A, a C, and a C minus. We can try that as our hard sell. Hometown hero and him. Okay. I can also do the same thing on Dobbs here. So let's go in here. We're going to take this back. We're going to do a hard sell on him. And he wants the same one. Yep, there it is. Let's do that on him. So hometown hero, both of these guys. I don't want to bring these guys in for visits because it'll it'll be like a detriment because they're both playing defensive end. And I don't want to risk that. So we're just going to run with it this way. So now we have those guys both with hard sells. We've hard sold uh, Willie Strange and Mike Hurt. If I can get more points from somebody here, I could actually add to this as well to make it that much more better. I don't want to do that though. I want to keep the pressure on for Williams here. And I think I want to keep the pressure on here. We're still doing good with Salter, Strange. Good there. We're losing Cantrell here. I almost wonder if I just want to take those 10 points back. I mean, we're good on Maryland, and we're good on Redmond. And right now, we are leading with Truman. So, Crook, Dobbs, both guys that we're not gaining on with the competition, where we're losing in the influence. Derelek is another one here. I only have 10 points, though. Oh, man. And they have a week 13 visit. We're so close to the commit here. You know what? I'm going to do the same thing with him. A+, plus. he doesn't care about that. Oh, he doesn't care about a lot of the stuff that we have. A minus, that's going to be, what, 11 points? If I take the 5 away from Garfield here, that gives us 15. I can then go ahead back over here to the D tackle. And then I can take this back from Derelek. And then I can do a hard sell on him as well. Hope to God we have something deep. Oh, we actually do have a pretty decent one. An A+, plus, a C-, minus, and a D-. minus. This is sort of our last hurrah here. I don't have enough to go anything more than 25 unless I do this or schedule a visit, but I don't think the visit... We're going to go for a hard sell here. TV time? That's what I just pitched him? Oh, shit. I think I'm happy with that right now. We're going to do a hard sell on like everybody that's either really close to committing to us or that we are potentially going to lose out on and see if we can swing them. Or finalize it so this should be a really big advance for us and yes I am just simming past this week I need to get farther into this dynasty and right now we are not playing good football so I am not gonna I am I am not going to um, sit here and keep watching it all we're gonna keep making in for another week or two and then if it, things don't go well I'm gonna switch it over to Luth and see what he offers um, yeah so we're just gonna let it play out. We have our recruiting done. Let's go ahead and let's advance week and see what happens. There we go, guys. Mike Hurt has committed to NIU. We got the running back. That is huge. And we get Joseph Tony the corner. All of these guys went up in risk of transfer. We did win the game, so, I mean, that's good. We got better in championship contender. Brand exposure went down some for some reason. Not sure why. We have a lot of points back now. We got to see where we're standing, though, because I just did a lot of changing around. We're still really not out of the race on Garfield if we really want to get back into it, but right now we are still leading with Callaway. Mike Hurt is going to be a Husky. That is big. 
We're still good there. We're good there. Strange is so close to committing. The hard sell went well, it looks like. So we should be getting a commit from him. Salter, we're still in a good position with those two. He has still shut us out. We're at least up to a D minus now. So, I mean, I guess that's good. Um, we are missing out on Coley here. I got to put some type of, of action in here. So let's do just do a DM the player. All right. So that did help. Now we're jumping back out ahead of Central Michigan. Um, and then, yeah, I think we're just going to have to take the L on Cantrell here unless I want to go ahead with a hard sell. Or not a hard sell, but I could send, I could do like 25 on him or something. I don't think I did. Oh, now Marshall's coming into play. Yo, you guys are so annoying. Marshall Crook went to freaking Central goddamn Michigan. What a punk. And we didn't even flip Dobbs? Okay, I gotta add 10 points to this guy. We're gonna have to do DM the player on top of that. Let's hope to God that we flip him. Because I don't want to miss out on him too. Okay, that got us back up front with with him. That's big. Okay. Now let's go here and let's add DM player. That gets us max to 50. Wait, wait, wait. You got 10 more points. I gotta go to the coaching abilities. We can get our tier three on D Lyman. Yeah. Tier three on uh, D Lyman would give us more weekly hours. Let's do linebackers too. Yeah. Okay. So now we should, that should open us up a little bit to be able to, to try and get these guys that we're, we're aiming for right now. All right. All right. Let's go back down here. We already know that's done and over with. Um, we now have 65, so I could remove this. And we could do a contact friends and family. And we'll do contact friends and family for him. You're going to move this, then the house. Haven't done that with him yet. I'm hoping that jumps us back out ahead. Siegler is really close to committing, so we have to do some serious, serious stuff here. I don't know if we'll be able to catch Illinois, but worst case scenario, we get these points back next week. But if we can somehow flip this guy, that would be tremendous. Um, I think we're just out of it. Well, actually, we somehow gained, even though we haven't really done anything with this guy. <laughs> um, oh, hey, hey, we made it to the first place. Look at that. DeAndre Parker coming around to his senses here. Um, let's just do an add DM the player to him and see if we can move this along a little bit quicker here. Um, Tony, we're good on him. We're good on him. Um, we're still oh, okay. We gotta we gotta worry a little bit about this. Let's go here. Add action. I'm gonna remove this. Add action. Contact friends and family. That brings us down to zero for the week but that hopefully gets us back into the good graces of him. Nobody has come forward for Obi yet, so we're still in the clear there. Um, and then, yeah, uh, I think I think that is good right now. I think we're really close to getting Willie Strange's commitment. George Salter, we're still in the running for him. Um, I put 10 points on Kali. I put more points on Truman, so I'm hoping that helps. We are getting outgained right now on Livings, but I'm not too concerned with him right now. We're just gonna see how it goes for another week. Uh, we're out on him. We're in on Dobbs big time though to see if we can flip him away from Ball State. Same with Derelict and Sneed. We're trying to flip these guys back to us. And then we're going all in on Siegler because Illinois is sneaking in trying to steal him from us and that would be like, a huge get for this defense. I'm going to take these 10 points away. Yeah, I'm going to take these 10 points away from Williams right now. I'll give them back next week, but I need them right now. Because this is our, our last hurrah push. So I'm going to add this to Siegler here. Add action. And we're just going to do the search social media just to max him out. 
I think we're going to sim this week too. I want to see, I, I want by the end of this episode, I want us to know that we have the guys that we're going for, or at least have a better direction of where we need to go moving forward with our recruiting. So yes, we are going to sim this week as well. Get past Bowling Green. I know it's a conference game, but this team we just know is just not ready for the limelight. Willie Strange finally committed to us. That is the, the gem receiver, the three-star gem. That is big. Marcus Dobbs, we flipped him. We flipped Marcus Dobbs, guys. I mean, it's just a two-star, but hey, it's a win, right? It's a win. And we flipped TJ Derelict, the three-star defensive tackle. And Jake Gassaway got player of the week. One interception and eight tackles. Okay, guys, we are getting somewhere. Good place for us to stop. We can take on the struggling Toledo Rockets and who are sitting at one and five. But let's go ahead and see what we're looking at for recruiting right now because we just had a huge week. So now we have Mike Hertz, four-star running back recruit. We have Willie Strange, three-star gem wide receiver, 6'4", by the way. We flipped Marcus Dobbs to come to us. We're closing in on Duarte. I know we lost this guy. We're just going to remove him. We end up getting Derelict, and we jump back into the lead for Taj Sneed. Yes, we did lose out to Gerald Siegler, which is okay. We're closing in on Nelson Singleton. We now lost out on Man Manuel President. We are still in the high running for Rawls. Um, ooh, wow, that really pushed us on DeAndre Parker for sure. We got Tony. We're closing in with Napolitano. I don't even know how to say that dude's name. We're making waves now again with Asher. We're still good with Obi. We're good with Sullivan, the punter. Now I think it's time for us to close in on some of these other guys like Callaway. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to move this. And then we're going to send the house, see if we can just wrap this up. Central Michigan is trying to push now for Williams. We're going to go ahead and put points back on him. Uh, we will do contact friends and family. We're getting closer in playing style for Shodi to unlock him. So that's why I kept him on the board. That is stuff that can change over time. Okay, so they're starting to push hard on Truman. So we are going to remove friends and family. And we're going to go send the house on him. Let's see if there's any other prospects that have now fallen on the board that we could potentially look at. Uh, Justice Thompson, uh, he's still in line for them. Dave Schilling, a run stopper. Oh, huh, weird. I don't remember seeing this guy before. I just found Dave Schilling. And even though, I mean, we're at six right now, but nobody has actually offered him anything. The three-star pass coverage linebacker. I feel like I would be doing myself a disservice if I don't offer him some. Um, we're not on the list anywhere for Marquise Baxter or Quan Bayless. Um, I could try and offer him a contract. I keep saying contract. It's because I, 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 I'm an idiot. So just, just don't mind me. I'm thinking of, of like actual NFL football. Okay, we're going to remove Bayless. I think I'm happy with those two. And now we have 100 points still. Schilling, we're at six. I got to add some stuff to him for sure. Let's do... Let's just do DM the player for him. See what that does. See if that pushes the needle at all. Same with Baxter. I'm going to do DM the player. Um, I think I should go back over here. Let's go back to uh, Cantrell. And I could just try one week to just send the house to see if that flips them. I doubt it. That's a really big, that's a big bar to try and flip. But it would, it's like a two star. We do, or we you know what we could do is we could just take the L on him and we could just move on to Keenan Redmond. DM the player for Redmond, see if that moves him at all. I don't know if I want to pursue president because he's a power rusher and he's really small. And I don't know if that's going to fit with our system. And we are getting outgained by both Bowling Green and Ball State. I almost feel like we should just just take the L on him. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. We're just gonna take. We're gonna remove him. We have Rawls, who is a 
boost star as well, but he at least fits our scheme with run stopper. Uh, Singleton's a run stopper. Another one here. I really want us to get Marcus Baxter. So I'm actually going to add, I'm going to take this away. And I'm going to do a 25 on him right away. Um, we don't have any points on Raymer. I should probably keep this in just in case. Let's do a DM the player with him. And I'll add five to him. All right. I think that was enough simming for this episode. We did a lot of work. I think we did some really good stuff with our recruiting. Um, our, our first class is starting to sort of come together. So right now we have the 40th ranked uh, class already. Um, we have our four star Hurt. We have uh, three three stars in Tony Strange and Derelict. We ended up flipping our two star Dobbs defensive end. Um, we have a couple more three stars in the works. So I think we're, we're in a good spot right now. And that's going to be a good spot to call it for this episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. Before you leave, if you could hit that like button, it means a lot. It helps the video out. It helps my channel out quite a bit. Um, and I always appreciate when you guys leave a like. Let me know down below what you guys think of the recruiting so far. Is there any other players that, you know, I think you think I missed out on that I maybe should have went after more hard, you know, and tried to, to flip better? I think we did a good job. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Turn on that bell notification. I will see you guys next time. Bye.